Hello viewers, welcome to CVSRP Research YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to explain about the new rules for award of PhD degree. The EGC is uh, changing the PhD rules uh, for the entrance as well as the award of the PhD degree. Uh, they prepared a draft copy and also maybe it will come uh, in the gazette in, the, in this year. The EGC is changing uh, from 2016, then uh, 2018, uh, two amendments are done. Now they are changing uh, for the award of the PhD degree and uh, rules and regulations are completely changing in this regard. Uh, they clearly mentioned that uh, the draft was released in the EGC website. Uh, everyone uh, must go through that. And if you have any doubts or any queries, you can ask them by uh, sending email. Now we will uh, go to that uh, website. This is the UGC website. Everyone knows that. So in this UGC website, if you go through the notices, so here once if you click on the read more, uh, uh, the read more uh, in this, you will see uh, there is a published on here 17-3-2022, the UGC public notice regarding Inviting the suggestions on draft university grant commission, the minimum standards and the procedure for the award of PhD degree regulation 2022. If you simply click on this, uh, it will redirect it to the public notice as well as the draft regulations. Both are here. Now we will see what is the public notice they mentioned. On 17-3-2022, they released the inviting the public notice regarding that. Inviting suggestions on Draft University Grant Commission, the minimum standards procedure for the award of PhD degree. So now they are going to change the PhD degree award, uh, the regulations in 2022. So for that purpose, they released a draft copy. So here what they mentioned in public notice, the agency is taking a number of initiatives for the implementation of the new education policy 2022. Everyone knows in India, the education policy also is changing. That is a national educational policy 2022. It comes under the Ministry of Education to implement the recommendations connected to the minimum standard of uh, award of the PhD degree. Uh, the EGC has developed a draft university grant commission, the minimum standards and procedure for the award of PhD degree regulations 2022. So the draft university UGC grant uh, university grant commission it is available on the UGC website. So uh, if you, the UGC is inviting the comments and suggestions as well as the feedback from all the stakeholders, the draft regulations under the same by sent to the thirty first March twenty twenty two. So now we will enter into the draft of uh, this PhD regulations. Yeah, this is the Minister of Education UGC New Delhi. The notification is saying. The draft of university grant commission, the minimum standard and the procedure for the award of the PhD degrees. The regulation is 2022 and this is a draft copy only. And even the previously the PhD holders, everyone is following in 2016 regulations. Later what happens, the two amendments are happened. That is on 27th August 2018 is the one amendment. The second amendment was done in 16th October 2018. So later now they are preparing the drafting for the 2022. So in this act, what they are going to uh, saying, what are the exact rules and regulations are being uh, for uh, how do we will get the eligibility criteria and all other things uh, they will discuss in the draft copy. It will be, you know, uh, it will be applied for every, any university established or incorporated uh, by the under central act, uh, a proven, uh, provincial act or a state act every institution deemed to be university under section 3 of EGC Act 1956 and also every degree granting autonomous college or uh, every affiliated college allowed to offer the PhD programs is applicable to all the, these two points and also it, it comes it shall be uh, coming to the force uh, from the date of their publication in the Gazette of India. Now first look into the what is the eligibility criteria to get the admission into the PhD program. The first one is it should be the master's degree is a one year. That means having the two semesters after the uh, B.Tech program or uh, undergraduate program. He, uh, he or uh, her, uh, she, uh, she will get uh, or he will get 55 percentage of the marks aggregate or equivalent to the grade B in the EGC 10 point scale. As well as, you know, uh, the second condition is a two year or four semester master degree program with same condition as we discussed here. 
as well as a con candidate uh, seeking admission for suppose after bachelor degree if you want to directly enter into the phd program or the, uh, maybe with the research oriented uh, if he has a research with the bachelor degree he must have the cgpa is 7.5 out of 10 and coming to the mphil uh, people for suppose the candidates who have cleared the mphil course work with at least 55 percentage of the mark in aggregates or it will be equivalent to the grade B in the EGC 10 point scale. And also for suppose, you know, some, some people will get the equivalent degree from the foreign institutions, uh, which is aggregated by the assessment and accreditation agency, which is approved and recognized or authorized by any authority. So we have to check on each and everything. But suppose a person who is having MPhil dissertation has been evaluated and recommended for the award of PhD degree may be admitted into the PhD program in any institution, uh, you know, on the provisional basis, even sometimes, you know, before the viva wise also, even or the final defense, whatever it may be, both the same, they must join in the institution. And also there will be a relaxation is there, uh, like, you know, in percentage way, way we have, they are giving the 5% of the mark and in the scale, uh, like, you know, point wise, they are giving 0 0.5 uh, score, uh, for the SC, ST, BC under non creamy layer, as well as the uh, differently abled uh, people, as well as economically weaker section AWS people and other candidates of the categories, as per the decision of the commission, from time to time it will be changed. These are the two very, very important uh, relaxations, uh, especially they are giving uh, for the entering into the program, PhD program. Now we will look into the duration of the program, what they are mentioned in the draft copy regarding the duration of the program for the PhD program. The PhD program shall be minimum duration is two years, as well as even it, 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 they are show, showing that it is excluding coursework. Previously, what they are say, saying, the minimum is three years, uh, they are included uh, coursework also, the maximum is six years, okay. And now, what it is, they are saying that now two years it is there, the minimum one excluding the coursework and also maximum six years. But suppose if you are, if you didn't finish that one within the span of the time, there will be extension possibility is there above the these limits. But it is relevant clauses and stipulated in the st uh, statute and ordinance of the individual institution concerned, but not beyond more than two years. After the six years also, it's not beyond the two years the extension possibility. For suppose the, the women candidates and uh, persons with disabilities, for suppose the disability also the more than 40 percent is people, they are maybe allowed for the relaxation of the two years for the PhD in the maximum duration. Sometimes uh, they will allow, uh, especially women candidate as well as the uh, persons with the disabilities, uh, even the disability, it should be more than 40 percentage. In addition, for suppose uh, women candidates are there, so for them, they will uh, provide the maternity leave or child care, child care leave up to 240 days once in the entire duration of the PhD work. But suppose, uh, you know, the student exchanges are uh, provided by the contribute significantly to the completion of the thesis, the leave of absence may be granted from the second year onwards based on the following. For suppose the research expedition less than one month, as well as it should be authorized by the supervisor as well as the head of the department. And research mission, it is more than one month, it is proposed by the head of the department as well as the research advisory committee. And also exchange programs, you know, if they, uh, the department is uh, proposing approved by the research advisory committee for the working in the institutions, even in India or any abroad country. What is the procedure for the admission into the PhD program? It's, it may be very, but uh, what they are mentioning in the draft copy means all the universities shall admit PhD scholars through the national eligibility test or a national entrance test or an entrance test conducted by the level of individual university. See here uh, how they are connecting the eligibility comes, they must write the NET exam, that is the national eligibility test or national entrance test or university, uh, in individual university, they have to conduct a separate entrance test provided that any circular or notification or communication by the UGC or Minister of Education, Government of India. As well as these are all uh, rules and uh, regulations, the physical uh, facilities available on all, each and everything they will check uh, as per the things. And also they will notify in the website as well as at least two, two national newspaper also they will mention uh, regarding this one. As well as uh, uh, there are all uh, related to the uh, entrance test only. 
the important thing is that what they are mentioning 60 percentage of the total vacant seat of academic care shall be filled from the net or jef they are giving more chance to the net or jf people junior research fellow the qualified students and the remaining 40 percentage through the university or common entrance test uh, qualified students on the basis of interviews conducted by the concerned institute that means for suppose if it is 100 uh, seats are there what they are saying 60 percentage of seats they must fill through the net and jrf the remaining 40 percentage through the individual entrance and as well as the interview based on that only they are doing okay and also some uh, reservations category there is the five percent relaxation obviously it is there for a cst and obc as well as the differently abled categories uh, students and also sometimes they will conduct the interview viva wise also uh, whereas the candidates who qualified the entrance test the selection shall be evaluated in the written test 7 as well as 30 is a interview the merit list for both shall be separately published uh, like that, uh, we will get the, all the things regarding to the admission as well as the research supervisor. Now, I don't want to explain this research supervisor. It is all completely related to the location of the university. And next, we will uh, move into the another category. What is the coursework? How many cre credit requirements are there? How is the number, duration, syllabus, and the minimum standard com uh, for completion, etc. Now, I am going to explain here. Suppose the minimum number of the credits uh, requirement for the PhD program at least uh, 12 credits and the maximum is 16 credits. Uh, so every student must fill uh, this uh, fulfill this 12 credit system as well as the maximum 16 credits. And also the coursework shall be treated as a prerequisite for the PhD preparation. A minimum of four credits shall be assigned to one or more courses on research methodology, which could cover areas such as quantitative methods, qualitative methods, computer applications as well as research ethic and a review of published research in relevant field. Like, you know, in the PhD work, everyone must write the mandatory courses of research methodology. This is a very, very important point. The students who are registered for the PhD directly for the four-year graduate level with research, for suppose after your BTEC or, or uh, degree, four-year undergraduate degree with the research, will have to undertake six to eight credit course at PhD level about the relevant skill as well as research techniques or domain which subject is, is offering by the university. As well as, uh, you know, all the PhD entrance irrespective of the discipline, whatever it may be, it shall be required to take a credit-based courses in teaching and education and pedagogy or writing related to their a course, a chosen PhD subject during the doctor training or period. And also, the lifelong learners like accomplished researchers as evidence from the original contribution in terms of patent granted or new relevant knowledge or any artistic practice disorders to get a research degree to the research advisory committee may be provided for the selecting the courses as well as you know like all the things the phd scholars may also have three to four hours per week of actual teaching experience gathered through the teaching assistantship or other forms of knowledge dissemination uh, that are not repetitive. So this is the most important thing. So this is all related to the coursework only. It is covered every entire thing. And also they will uh, form a research advisor committee and also the functions means they will periodically, they will conduct the uh, research review meetings, uh, especially for the research scholars to review the research proposals and to finalize the topic of the research and also to guide the scholars uh, to develop the study and design and the methodology of the research and also periodically review assist in the progress of research work in the research scholar and also all the, the research scholars shall appear uh, before the research advisory committee once in a six months to make a presentation to progress of our, uh, our his or our work the six months progress report shall be submitted by research advisory to the institution with a copy of research scholars or suppose uh, sometimes, you know, like uh, the research scholar is unsatisfactory for the progress, the research advisory shall record the reasons for the same and suggest the corrective measures also. Now, what is uh, how the evaluation assessment methods are there? Upon satisfactory completion of the coursework, obtaining the marks prescribed in the subscale, whatever we discussed previously, the research work should be proceed here. So before submission of the thesis, the scholar shall uh, presentation in the department level before research advisory committee and also feedbacks and they will uh, take comments and also the thesis whatever they prepare the thesis they must submit together with the original report 
like you know like uh, they will uh, apply in the anti plagiarism software uh, tool like we have a lot of the softwares are there like the thermitin uh, like the other softwares are there it should be checked by the supervisor or course supervisor it shall re receive as well as the thesis they must receive the similarity index with as well as the original report at the time of uh, submission if any obligation is there or anything uh, the research scholar only responsible for that so these are viva wise also it is there uh, as well as the thing is that the one more important thing uh, so after finishing that very very important thing 9.6 to sending a researcher at least uh, two examiners will value evaluate your thesis one must be out of your state uh, which is located the institute and uh, preferably one more external from the another country the rank which is not less than the professor rank okay and uh, for viva wise any of two members any one must present for the viva wise or final defense so then you will get the phd degree and uh, the uh, visits or stays are the relevant research institutes or industry the phd scholars you know that if the, to facilitate the international international level education the length of stay is the one to six months at a foreign or any research institute okay Oh, uh, these are all the things. Uh, simply go through the uh, draft, uh, which is uh, released by the UGC Code of Ethics and Explanations and other things. All the things are there. This is the draft only. Still now UGC released. Still, if you have any doubts, uh, you can uh, ask me at any time in the comment box. If you like my video, simply click the like button and to share with your friends, as well as uh, click on uh, bell icon also. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. We will see you in the next video.